In the last video, I introduced this month's giveaway item, which is this Baker skateboard here. We are gonna be doing a complete on this, but that's gonna be at the end of the month whenever we find out who the winner's gonna be. So today, what we're gonna do is actually customize it. I thought about just leaving it blank like this, just the Baker logo, but I left it up to you guys in the comments and you had a lot of suggestions. A lot of them were doing a glow in the dark theme, which is honestly kind of cool and I think that's the route we're gonna go. And then I also thought about doing a one punch theme, but if I did that, the wood burn effect on this would not look as good. And if I just painted over it, then it would cover up the Baker logo. And I don't wanna do that. So I had this kind of cool idea, I've been thinking about it for a week or so, and we're gonna do the glow in the dark theme, but it's gonna be completely around around the edge here and then I'm gonna have a logo right here and you shouldn't technically be able to see it I mean you might see a little bit of the green hue from the glow-in-the-dark paint but you shouldn't be able to see it that's the plan anyway so without any further ado let's jump right into basically customizing this board the idea I had for this board was to create a ghost logo effect. So what I'm doing is putting double-sided sticky tape on the logo, that way we don't get any overspray underneath, and then I'm going to find the location on the deck, put it into place, and then I'm gonna mask everything up around it. Again, just to prevent any overspray that I might have. Once I have everything masked up, we'll take it outside and we'll spray paint it there. First, just give it a good shake, that way the paint is mixed really well, and then we'll do our first layer. I did about three to four layers of the glow-in-the-dark paint, that way it is just very, very bright whenever you put it into a dark room. If I did a just mist coat, you wouldn't be able to see it, especially in those black areas. Now it's time to go ahead and unmask everything and see what the finished result for the logo looks like. The plan here is to make it where the Baker logo is still visible and not affected at all during the daytime. But at night or in a dark room, my logo stands out and just glows really, really well. So the ghost effect that I'm going for is absolutely working. It looks really, really good and you can hardly see it. So that's cool, like from a distance, you can't even see the logo at all. So that's gonna show up whenever it glows in the dark, which is gonna be really cool. I did peel up some of the paint there and then a little bit here because my tape was a little bit too sticky. But overall, that looks so good. All I have left to do is the glow the dark edge around the board and I might do some line going through on like two different spots, like one there and one here. Don't know if I really wanna do that one yet, but for sure I'm gonna do the glow in the dark around the entire edge of the deck. And then we'll put clear coat on top of it so it's just as shiny as this is. Here's what it looks like with the glow in the dark effect. So you can kind of see the letters just hidden there. Whenever I move the black light, it really, really glows. So this is really cool. The parts that aren't glowing as much, like right here, that is the black section of the logo. So it's never gonna be 100% perfect, but I do love how it turned out. It looks really, really good and it glows so well, holy crap. Yeah, see that whole section is all black right there, so you're only gonna see that much. But still, that's not bad, I dig it. For this part, I wanted to create a border around the edge of the deck, and I didn't have any real measurements or anything like that, I just eyeballed it and winged it, which honestly, for me, turns out really good every time I do it, so that's what I did. And then I'm gonna mask up the center, that way I don't create any overspray or ruin anything that I just did earlier. And uh, the plan after this is to sand the edge of the deck so I can paint that white, which honestly is a huge risk because I didn't know how that was gonna look. And then I was gonna put glow in the dark on top of that white section. But again, huge risk. I had no clue if it was gonna work. And I personally think it worked out really, really well. So stay tuned to see that part. spraying about three layers of white just to make sure it covered all of the red that was underneath and then I ended up spraying three layers of glow in the dark on top of that which makes everything just pop even more. If you use white with the glow in the dark paint it just stands out so well. If you have any other color sometimes it's kind of hidden and you don't get to see it. 
Now it's time to take it back inside and unmask everything and just see the whole finished result, which by the way, I think looks incredible. This line just made the entire deck. Holy crap, that looks so good. I feel like Baker should put that on their decks, honestly. I love that, and it glows in the dark, so that's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna take it into the darkest room I have, which is my bathroom, and I'll show you the final results on the deck. Here is the finished glow-in-the-dark look. Let's make it all glowy real quick. Pull it away. Oh my god, that looks good. Oh my god. Get all this side too. Holy crap, that is the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna do that on like all my decks now. Wow. That line is so good. I am so stoked on how this turned out. Something so simple, but it looks so damn good. Well, there you have it. That's the finished result for this custom Baker board. I know it's not much and you really can't see the little logo that's in the center, but that's exactly the point. It's a ghost effect and it turned out really, really good. I really love this whole outline. I'm so glad I chose to do that. Like I said, it was a huge risk because I was worried that it was actually going to ruin the deck. I honestly didn't know what to think, but I'm so glad that I took the risk because look at it. That looks like a factory Baker board. Looks so dope. I really think Baker should include that on their decks. And if they do, you know they got that from me, which is gonna be really cool. But absolutely love it. So stoked on everything. And yes, this is the giveaway item for this month. And it's not just the deck. No, no, no. It's also grip and more. It's a whole bag full of stuff. It's actually all the stuff that I got in the last video. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's a custom red and black theme, about to drop everything. Uh, skateboard, and it's gonna be complete, which again, we're gonna build it at the end of this month, whenever we find out who the winner for this month's giveaway is. Now for the next video of the series, we are gonna be customizing the grip, so I need you to leave a comment down below on what we should do. I'm thinking of doing a one punch logo, just like the, the fist, and then one punch man, or whatever it's called, and then the logo underneath it. So, I don't, I don't know. That, or I could cut it out to fit the deck, but then you'd see blue, and I don't know how I feel about that with the red and black theme. I think it would throw it off, even though I really love the blue stain. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what I should do next, because I really have no clue, besides the One Punch Man theme, and I'm, I'm still a possibility. Like, that's a probably pretty big possibility. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's how you enter my giveaways, and then leave a comment down below because that's a second way to do it, and then leave a like. It really helps with the video, so that's technically the third way, even though it doesn't really matter that much. It just, it really helps out. So please do all three of those, and if you enjoy the content, also share it. Help me get to 10,000 because I would like to do a custom PS5 by July 31st, and if we don't get there, I'll have to change it up because I'll be broke by then. But that's the plan. So again, that's it. I will see you guys on the next one. Stay awesome. Later.